Hello, Earth signs. Hello to all of the Earth signs out there. All of the Tauruses, Capricorns, and Virgos. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the month of August. This is an element reading for all of the Earth signs. Again, for my Tauruses, Capricorns, and my Virgos. And this reading is for the month of August. Move this candle up some more. Maybe to bring in some more light. Okay. Let's see what your overall energy is, Spirit. What is the overall energy for... Okay. Two cards came out. Connection. And multi-dimensionality. Multi-dimensionality and connection. Okay. I try to take or pull one card, but if more than one, like for the overall energy, if two or three comes out, that's fine. I'm going to shuffle three more times. One. I hope you all are enjoying these beautiful days that we are having. I know it's hot, but beautiful out um if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe please to support the channel and if you like my energy subscribe as well i will be grateful so grateful and i thank you in advance okay all right, so your first, the first card that came out for you is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Uh, the Seven of Cups here for my Earth signs. We have the Wheel of Fortune. the will of fortune here that's sagittarius pisces energy we have the six of swords in the reverse the six of swords in the reverse and guys let me know and i don't mean like guys is a only, only men are watching this because right now I don't have any males watching these videos. So, ladies and gents, I'll put it like that, <laughs> all are welcome. But um, let me know if the lighting, like if I need to make or get some more light in here, I am working on getting um, a camera and some lighting so my uh, videos can be more clear for you. I'm working on it. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? Six of Swords here in the reverse for my earth signs. Thank you. We have the Magician that is Gemini Virgo energy. We have the Six of Wands here. Okay. I have the Six of Wands here for my Virgos. Not Virgos. Virgos. 
Tauruses and Capricorns. I was thinking about Virgo looking at the Magician card, but okay. The Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. All right, so Earth signs. Your overall energy is multi dimensional with the connection card. Multi dimensional dimensionality with the connection card. So. I feel like you need to step into who you are with this multi-dimensionality card. I feel like you need to... Because multi-dimensionality frequency is awareness of who you are. So I, I feel like Spirit is saying, or your overall energy, is you are stepping into who you really are. And through this um, next stage, walking in your truth, walking in who you, your purpose, who you were created to be, you are connecting with others, you are connecting with things, and you are connecting with new ideas with this connection card. Because only when we walk or we awaken to who we truly are it allows us to walk in it allows spirit the universe to connect the dots to align us with those the right people to align us with the right ideas to align us with the things and the resources that we need and that we want and that we have been manifesting to um have the the life that we that we vision or the life that we want to create your current energy is the seven of cups so i feel like with you, with your current energy i feel like you have a lot of ideas going through your mind at this time you could be taking on lots of tasks at this time <clears throat> you could just like have a lot of things going on right now and having a lot of things going on could result in <clears throat> a new cycle a new cycle because these things are like up in the air right now Nothing is like stable. These cups are floating. So nothing is stable. These ideas, these thoughts, these tasks that you have, these are just things that either you're juggling or things, options that you have, choices or decisions you have to make. But once those choices and decisions are made, new cycles will begin with this Will of Fortune card, Sagittarius Pisces energy. And with the Six of Swords in a reverse, I feel like you are stagnant. I feel like you're you're stagnant right now. Like you're you're not moving. You're not making the choices and the decisions that you need to make at this time. I feel like you are not moving. And if you are moving, you're you're taking your time. But I don't think you're moving at all. I feel like with the six of 
swords in a reverse and the upright she's moving slowly towards what she wants in a reverse you're not moving at all you're not making the decisions that you need to make because you're manifesting something you're trying to manifest something you're in manifestation mode and and that's that's fine because sometimes when we are manifesting we're we're we aren't capable of making decisions when we're manifesting you could be still waiting on an answer on what it is that you need to decide on or to choose from or who you need to choose you could still be waiting to hear from the universe or to get some type of vision or um enlightenment pertaining to what it is that you have to, to choose from but with the six of wands being here whatever it is it's going to be successful you're going to gain from it you're not going to lose anything and look the eight of pentacles came out right behind it to confirm something new is coming in it could be pertaining to money could be pertaining to love something new is coming in could be after some type of deceit you may have felt like there was some deceit going on in the past or some type of hit someone you could have felt like someone had a hidden agenda you could have felt as if something was unfair but with you manifesting this this uh I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and a, and a uh, Magician card, you're manifesting something new. I, and it's going to be successful. There is success with the um, Magician card and the um, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be successful. Well, no. With the Six of Wands and the Eight of pentacles it's going to be successful but right now you're in manifestation mode you're manifesting um you could have felt as if someone was lying to you yeah that's why that five of swords is there. You felt as if something deceitful. Like you felt like someone was being deceit. Someone was hiding something. You felt as if someone was hiding something. And with the knight of swords with the knight of swords coming out you felt as if someone had a hidden agenda you felt as if they were hiding something with the knight of swords coming out things are going to start moving quickly your things are going to start moving quickly for you because this is what you you are you've manifested you want to change so change is coming. So let's clarify and see what else is going on. Okay. Because you're walking in your who you're walking in your truth now. So you had you made a change for you. We have the tower card here. Okay. The five of wands. The high priestess. Mm -hmm. The knight of cups. The king of cups. Why is this eight of pentacles here? For my earth sign.
Okay. Okay. All right, that's it. So, we have the Six of Pentacles, a lot of sixes, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Cups in the reverse. I feel like some violence is coming in. Okay, so let's let's go through this again. So you had you have a decision to make with the seven of cups. After a tower moment, Scorpio Aries energy. There will be a new cycle beginning. Once you make this decision, a new cycle will begin. So the tower moment brought in conflict, arguments, fights, could have been physical fights, but it brought in, that tower moment brought in some conflict and it resulted in you or someone wanting a new cycle, but you haven't moved on from this with the six of swords and the reverse, but you're using your intuition. In this situation, could be dealing with someone with the initials of B, J, T, O, R, or A. You're using your intuition to manifest this new beginning, this new cycle. Because you want someone to come in with a page of cups. I'm sorry, a knight of cups. You want someone is, okay. You're using your intuition and manifesting a new beginning. Someone is coming or moving towards you with a cup of love. And it's going to be successful with the six of wands being here. It's going to be successful because now they are a king of cups. This person is in love with you. They love you because we have... We have the the King of Cups is a person that's a love. He's a loving person, and this could be a, a male or a female, but that represents love. This person, you had the Knight of Cups before that. This person has changed. They went from a knight. They matured a little bit. Someone could have been immature in the past. And they're, they're coming back. They're moving towards you as the king. And it's going to work out. I feel like it's going to work out for you. Yeah, a new, a new beginning. A new beginning in love. And someone with this new beginning, someone could come in with more money. Like this person can have more money because look, more pinnacles on top of pinnacles. We have the six of pinnacles, the eight of the six of pinnacles on top of the eight of pinnacles. I feel like someone has more money, like things are, are more stable. And I feel like it's due to someone maturing. And they have more money. So, yeah, because this Six of Pentacles represents success. You have the Six of Wands here, the Six of Pentacles. It's all leading to success. After some type of deceit. Hidden agendas. Some unfair treatment. Now someone is working hard. This person is working hard to come towards you or to be better. They're working diligently 
and there and this is this this thing is moving quickly they're working hard and they're coming in quickly there this person is coming if this is not them coming towards you this is you coming towards them because you have two nights in movement and this may be with a new with a new person because we have the six of cups in a reverse this could possibly be a new person someone new that you met if not this is the person that you were currently dating coming back in in a new um they are coming back in with a little more mature they're they're they have learned something from the past from whatever happened in that tower moment in that conflict this person has learned something and they're coming back in in a different mindset because they have grown So let's pull some love oracle cards. This person is coming back in because they love you. Can I have a love oracle card for my earth signs? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. This person, we have the phoenix here. This person has transformed and now they are changed, transformed. They went through a growth phase and they're ready to rekindle things. You have the runner in reverse. They're not running anymore. They're not running from this anymore. Why is the runner there for my earth sign? Why is the runner there for my earth sign? This person went through some type of transformation because they're addicted. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. They know their worth now. They know your worth. Let's get one more. One more. No, Oracle. Oh, two more came out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at this soulmates love right here this is your soulmate this person loves you this is your soulmate i want to pull one more card to see what spirit has to say wrong deck <laughs> all right let's see What message do you have for my earth signs for the month of August? What message do you have for my earth signs for the month of August? Present lives. Present present lives or present lives i feel like it's present lives but spirit is saying just, okay just with the uh your two cards for your overall energy walk in your truth stay true to who you are and you will be connected guess what stay in the present moment because it lives on stay present don't think about the past. Don't think about the future. Stay in the moment that you are in. And things will work out for you. Earth signs, I'm going to leave it at that. If this reading resonates with your situation, share, like, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the notification bell. Be safe out there. I'm sending light, light love, peace, and healing energy to you as well as your families. Um, I don't know why my nose is running and itching, but okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you for watching again. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of this week as well as the weekend, and I will see you next month. Bye.